pink poodle crafts. Join the poodle pack. It's time to get creative and make you laugh. Make your own art today. Pink poodle crafts is the way. What a good boy. Hey, crafty family, it's me. And today I'm gonna show you a quick tip, which I haven't done one of these in a long time. Um, a quick tip on how you can substitute having to buy one of these or bunches of these. <clears throat> Don't mind my nails, they are still dyed with coffee. That is a coffee um, staining under on all of my cuticle and still under my nail. It was much worse, it is getting much better now as I've washed my hands 8,000 times. Um, but anyway, these are those Tim Holtz daubers and you put these little padded things on the but on the bottom of it on the, those velcro on here and you ink your papers with it the edges of your paper most of us have one if not don't buy it because i'm going to show you what you can use instead now as far as the pads go <clears throat> i have not found an alternative exactly i'm working on something potentially but i haven't found anything yet to replace these but if you only had to buy the pads that's not as bad as having to buy a bunch of these or even one of these which i have two of them um and i you know i always would think to myself oh i wish i had one for each kind of color range like or whatever so i didn't have to constantly switch between them as i'm doing everything but now you won't really have to because now if you just get these which is cheaper than buying this in the first place you could buy a whole pack of just these for like six dollars and you'll get like bunches of them in a package i think you get like 20 or 30 of them i don't know you get a bunch you know enough to get you through for a, lo a long while but now what you can do is use your empty medicine bottles and because a lot of us unfortunately have illness because i mean our group alone you know, a lot of the women, you know, I've heard their stories about, you know, their illnesses and we've talk, all talked about it in my various live streams. Um, it's like our group is almost like this massive support group um, for each other and our different ailments and issues, um, which, by the way, if you haven't joined the Pit Poodle Pack Creative Crafty Playground, there is a link under this video in the description if you just hit show more because it'll only show part of the description you have to actually hit show more for it to all open up there's lots of links in there by the way there's my patreon and that's where you could see like my secret live streams that i do that are not public to anybody and um also we have like classes every month and all that kind of good stuff um which we're about to do our second part to our technique class which we did which was like everybody loved that we I, I mean literally our class was six hours long doing different techniques um our my classes are very long you know sometimes um most of the time they're at least three four hours but sometimes they go like six hours but you know people do have the links and they can watch the re the the recorded version of it you know it's everything that was during the live stream except it's you know obviously later and it's a recording a recording and they can watch it as many times as they want because they will always have the link for it so there's that anyway i'm getting off topic so we all have a lot of us at least anyway have illnesses and stuff everybody probably takes at some point or another takes a medicine but a lot of us it seems in the crafting community have an excess of medicines that we're always taking so instead of throwing these out or some of us utilize these for like gemstones and that and the other which is great but after a while you just you know don't have enough stuff to put in these so you end up throwing them away or giving them away or something but now you can have a bunch of these and use them to ink things now there's two different sizes here and these are this one is a little bit larger than this one and i'm sure we have at least one of these size bottles the little bit larger one is nice because the inside of it you can hold your little bit so like you can put a label on here that says blue and green and you could put all just your blue and green colored pads for your different blue and green inks in here to store nicely or if you don't like that idea you can store your clean ones in here or you could get a separate bottle like this all together to put all your clean ones in because this will keep them you know nice and clean and neat because once you open the package that these come in 
you'd have to like store them in some other way and just leaving them open in a drawer is what I do sometimes. But then they get like, after a while, if you don't use them right away, they get like fuzzy on them. They get like little hairs, dust and all kinds of crap sticks to them. Like I have a few in here that are like quite fuzzy. They, they just get like a fuzz from sitting around and I got to pick the fuzz off of them. So it would be better if you kept them stored in here, whether they have ink on them or not. If they have ink on them, it's more the reason to store them in there because the ink will, especially like the distress inks and stuff that don't dry right away and they kind of stay tacky a little bit. Um, they attract more dust and crap. So they're the ones you're going to want to mostly put in here anyway, because I can't tell you, I have them in this little thing, which you can't really see in this little thing here. And because it's sitting like this, kind of, even though it's under a thing under my, under, you know, on my desk, kind of under in like this little garage port type of thing that I have on my desk, um, they still get really dusty and I have to go through and clean them, which sucks. So if I can store them in a bottle, that would be better. So if I had one bottle for your blue and greens, one for your yellow and orange, another one for your reds and pinks, another one for your purples and whatever, another one for your black, you know, yada, yada, you, you catch my drift. All you would need is six or seven bottles and the lids and you'd have six or seven of these daubers instead of buying a couple of these you know, or whatever, or just one of these and having to constantly rip your thing off and, and put a new one on. So this way you wouldn't. So if you're working on a project and you have at least three or four different colors of ink that you're using, let's say you're using a blue and a pink, you know, and then another color, you can have several bottles and just keep the ones you're using, go back and forth between them and not have to constantly rip it off and, and put it back on. Um, so that's an idea. So what I did was, um, if you look on Amazon, what I was trying to find was Velcro dots, like Velcro circles, kind of like I get those ones like this, um, that are, I use for putting the, you know, I, these are these little ones here. They're real thin and they're real small. And these are great for like when you want to do like a journal and you don't want to use magnets, but you can use these instead. And they'll just lightly, you know, it's not, a, it, it's a strong, it's a stronghold, but it's not like so strong that it's going to rip your page when you try to open it, which is nice. So it's perfect for things like journals and when you make little pockets that open and such and whatever. So I was looking for some sort of circle that would fit these exactly, but they were expensive and they were bigger anyway. I would have still had to cut them down and they were very expensive for just 12 of them. I think it was like $9 and I thought, well, that's kind of ridiculous. I'm not spending $9 for that. So for, I think it was like five bucks, six bucks around there. If I, if I could find the link, I'll put it in the, in the description below. I'll put the link to this Velcro. Um, that I bought on Amazon, it might have been eight dollars, but still, look how much you get for eight dollars. Now, granted, this is the this is the one side, this is the other side, like male, female side, whatever you want to call it, the hook and loop, and then the 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 fuzzy side. Um, so obviously, I'm just using the hook and loop side, or whatever it's called, the little the scratchy side, as I like to call it. So I'm just using that, but I'm sure I'll find a use for this at some point, so I don't throw anything away. And plus, you can obviously use this like regular. If you have other things that you like, you know, like let's say you have a craft item and you want to put like a Velcro thing on something and stick your tools on it or something. I don't know. You could do whatever because you got, there's a lot here. So all you need is some of the hook and loop stuff. Now for this one, a little bit bigger one, I took two pieces and what I did was I covered half the jar, or the jar, half the lid since it doesn't fit all the way. And you need, you know, and you want to have a decent coverage. Like I probably could have done a little bit better job covering that because you can see it's like, it's not all the way around, but you want to get as full coverage as possible because you don't want your thing. But at the same time, well, no, actually, yeah, you just want it to have, be enough to cover your, your thing really. And that's what this is because I forgot this one, this lid was bigger than this thing. Um, whereas this lid is like the perfect size. But either way, they work fine. Both work perfectly fine. So I have an extra one here, and this is a small one. And for these, um, you can't fit these inside. I mean, you can, but they fit like that, and they'd be a pain in the ass to get in and out, and you can only fit probably one or two of them. Um, so my suggestion for this is if you have any of these style daubers where they go on your finger, you could put a couple of these in there. Do something. You can utilize that space somehow. And I was also thinking, like, 
for, you know, for some people who have arthritis, it might be more comfortable to hold this bigger around bottle when you're inking rather than, um, you know, but if you don't like that, you can just hold the cap. So you could just do this, but if you prefer, you can do this and hold it like that. You know, it's just kind of whatever is your preference. Um, but anyway, what I was doing is taking this now, because this one is smaller, this is a one inch. Um, they had one that was an inch and a half and they have two inches and yeah, that's fine and great, but this was the best price for how much you got. And I'm a bargain shopper and trust me when I tell you, I always find the good deals. And this was a prime item. So it means if you're a prime member, shipping is free. If you're not a prime member, as long as you have $25 in your cart of worth of stuff, it'll all be free shipping. So even if as long as it says prime, I think. Yeah, as long as it's still a prime item, even if you don't have prime, it, you know, like, so if you had other things in your cart already um, and you added this to it and it, it brought it to over $25, the shipping would be free. Five to set, five day shipping, I think it is, is free. So, I mean, obviously nobody's gonna be in a rush to get this immediately, but if you have prime, obviously it'll be free, like two day shipping. So for this one, it was one inch. That's perfectly fine for this. It's okay if there's a little bit of white showing. You want to cover it, you know, as best you can. But, you know, it's not that important or imperative to cover every ounce of it. So you cut off a piece that at least covers, you know, as much as you can. And you could do it two ways. You can put it in, you can trace around it. And all you have to do is trace around, around it with like a pokey tool. And I'll show you what I mean. If you just trace around it with like a pokey tool and just like kind of scratch the, um, that uh, surface on there, which I didn't line it up very well. But anyway, you can see that you can perfectly see the scratches on there. But you can also just, if you're not very good at cutting circles out like me, you could just put it on there like so, and then take a pair of sewing scissors because they're nice and small to get in between the little layers of the cap. Because like these scissors, you can get in there, but it's more of a pain in the butt. But anyway, you'll get in there and you'll cut around anywhere where it is hanging off because otherwise it's like sticky and it's gonna get stuck on things and be annoying. And so that's what you'll do is go around and cut off any excess hanging off. It might be a little sticky on the edges, but if you have a little cornstarch, you could put it on there and it'll go away or it'll just go away over time. But it's not like super, not going to be super bad or anything. But um, yeah, so there you go. There's that. And then you just press your things on there and voila, then you can ink your edges and have, you know, or use it on the cap. Now you could put one on the bottom and one on the top if you don't care whether it stands up or not. And you can have a double ended, you know, uh, doohickey. Now this one has a little bit of an indented cap, but this should still stick to it. I would imagine it's not gonna make a difference. Like I can even test it out for you because I don't care if it stands up or not. I just more interested in just having them work. So you can actually double end it. Um, and this way you can have, you know, one color on one end and one color on the other end. And just shove it down in there a little bit and it should be just fine. We'll test it out and see. Cause we all got several of these bottles. So I'm sure that we can accommodate And you can also roll your finger back and forth and that'll pull off any excess glue that's, that sticks out the edge a little bit there even after you cut it, now that I've gunked up my scissors. Mm. But anyway, so then you just need your thingamabobber and you can have, whoops, wrong side, black side down. There you go. Now you have a double end. So if you're working on something, you know, well, it still stands up, but if you're working on something, you can have one color on this side and then have another color on this side or whatever. And you can have a bunch, you could put one on this end and have a bunch of them. And like I said, the nice thing is you could put your like certain colors per bottle 
especially if you have these a little bit fatter bottles that fit these in there perfectly, you can have like your pinks and reds and one for your yellows and oranges and ones for your blues and greens and so on. So that's an idea. Um, so yeah, I think that's it, but it's a, you know, just something I thought up when I was doing a live stream one night, I was thinking about how, I don't know, I was kind of like, I always have these weird brainstorms sometimes, and sometimes it'll happen during a live stream, and I'll be like, yeah, I should do this, and this, and this, and this, and this just happened to be one of them that I was talking to, I think it was one of my Patreon live streams, actually, and I said I was going to do a video on it, but that was like a week and a half ago, and I hadn't gotten around to it, so I decided to do it today, so, yeah, so utilize your pill bottles that might normally get thrown away, because then you can have one for each color, or whatever, I mean however you want to do it. I mean, you could even like, you know, put your, put a reinker in each one of these or something that goes with the color that you would use for it. I don't know. You could find a reason to fill the little ones. Now the big ones you can obviously fill with your things, but I'm sure you could fill this with something or it doesn't have to be filled, you know, but I mean, as far as storing them goes, really all you need is like, if you wanted to do it where you put the colors in here you need about with this size which is this is the one that's like it's like an inch and a half wide about so these are the ones that are like an inch and a half these here are like an inch and a quarter um but anyway if you have like six or seven of these that's all you would need because you could put you know velcro there if you want put velcro there but if you have your like like i said separate your colors in each one then obviously, you know, you're good. You know, you don't need, you don't need the little ones, but if you have the little ones and that's what you mainly get, you can even ask for these when you, you know, when you go to the pharmacy, if you have one, you could bring it to them and say, I like to utilize this size bottle. Can you put my medicines, my future medicines in this bottle? Um, even if they usually come in this bottle, they, they usually can accommodate you. Um, so yeah. So anyway, I'll put a link below for the um, Velcro. And yeah, I hope, and, and I'll put a link for these here too. I'll see if I can find some of these on Amazon that aren't too expensive. If they're too expensive on, on Amazon, then I'll, I'll find them somewhere else. But I, I, I go by if you, you know, Prime, uh, if you, you know, having Prime, because they might be, you know, $7 on Amazon and $5 somewhere else, but somewhere else is going to charge you $5.99 shipping, whereas the $7, do you see what I'm saying? Like with Prime, you get free shipping, so it's actually going to be work out to be better. So, but I will put a link for both the Velcro and these underneath the video. So take a look under the video also where it says show more. Just click on that. It'll open up the whole description. There's lots of stuff in there, including links to my Patreon. If you're interested in getting some classes, I do classes every month. Plus, um, if you want to be a Patreon member at any tier of my Patreon, which those different tiers you can join at, even at the $1 level, one that's $1 a month. That's all it is. There's no taxes, no extra fees. It's literally one single dollar. You can get all my live streams that are private um, that we do. And they're nice because we don't have interruptions. We don't have people, strangers coming in. It's just us Patreon folks hanging out, doing crafts or whatever. And then also um, the classes start at $10 a month. Um you get a class every three months for $10 a month. At $15 a month, you get a class every two months. And for $25 a month, you get a class every month. And the classes are not stupid classes. They are really good classes that are that are not like, they're not just 30 minutes classes. Oh, okay, yeah, because they're only 25 bucks. Because if you go and look for craft classes anywhere else online, they're gonna be 50, 80, whatever dollars. Um, and it might be a two hour class or whatever, but my classes are usually minimum three to four hours. And like the last class that we did, it was like six hours. Now you don't have to be there for the whole time. You can also go back and watch the recording at any time. You'll have the link to it forever indefinitely. You can go back and watch the recording a million times over and stop it where you want to and follow along and all that kind of stuff and take notes or whatever your whatever it is. Um, so yeah, there, and, and, you know, if you are there when they're live, you can ask as many questions as you want. I stay as long as you want me to. I never, ever 
you know, go, okay, class is over, bye. You know, I will say, is there anything you want to know? Is there anything that you have questions on about what we did or whatever? And I'll stay as long as you want. So, um, yeah, so we do that. So this month, um, on the 30th of June, we will have our, um, we will have uh, our second technique class. We did one technique class for the month of May and now we're doing the month of June. We're also doing a technique class because I didn't, there was so much techniques packed that I wanted to get in. That's why the class was six hours that I couldn't, I couldn't get them all in. So I'm like, well, I'll just do another technique class and do it with all the other techniques that I did not get in. And these are techniques that are mixed media techniques. So they're all background techniques. Um, so yeah, they were, it was a lot of fun. Um, and everybody loved that class. Um, so yeah. So anyway, that's it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Make sure you leave me a comment below and let me know if there is a little hack or something that you do as far as your daubers and, or if you have something that you've made or learned from somewhere about, you know, a way to use, utilize a cheaper way to have an ink dauber type of situation. Um, this way, you know, we can all share that idea because, you know, your idea will, might be better than my idea. You know, it might, you know, some people might like this idea, but some people might like your idea. So it's interesting or whatever, um, to, you know, to share ideas. Or if you have a link to a video that somebody made on a DIY dauber, absolutely share it below in the link, in the comments, because I would love to have different ideas floating around. I mean, because everybody has different things, you know, because some people might not have very many of these, if, if any. Um, also, um, these daubers I sell in my store. So if you are interested in them, I have three packs available for like a dollar something, I think, um, in my Zibit store, which is also linked below. And I have low cost craft supplies like stencils that are, you know, six by six stencils, or I think they're five by five, actually, technically. Five by five stencils for $2.75 and things like that. I have very low cost craft supplies there. You can't beat it. Um, so check that out in the description as well. And that's it. And I will talk to you guys later. Make sure you um, subscribe if you're not subscribed and give this video a thumbs up. And I will talk to you guys soon. Make sure you do what you love and love what you do and be nice to people. Bye.